You see this mess over here? Oh my gosh. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, what is the day? Yeah, Christmas is Wednesday, so it's Thursday, Friday. It's a Saturday. Uh, Notre Dame's playing our last game of the season. Fourth quarter late, up by three scores against Iowa State. That is if Iowa State actually finds the end zone, which they haven't done all day. But the, <laughs> the most surprising thing of the day is, is that Kim left me alone in the bunker making fireworks. I don't know what she's thinking, um, uh, but she had an opportunity to go shopping with uh, one of the uh, other ladies in the neighborhood, so she took it, and they, they took off. I think they went shopping. She told me where they were going, but I really wasn't paying attention. I was too busy making fireworks. Um, there's a little bit of a mess here right now because batch number two of the fireworks decided to go off while I was cooking them. Um, a little bit embarrassing. A lot of smoke, a lot of uh, heat, a lot of fire, a lot of burned sock. A couple burned sandbags out here. But, um... I mean, the Chinese folks must have lost a lot of people back in the day uh, when they first invented these things, you know, what, 6,000 years ago, whatever it was. I don't know. Didn't look at Wikipedia today to check that out. This is a simple uh, recipe that does not involve, it doesn't involve cooking, but it does not involve eating. Um, it does involve, well, it doesn't have to involve drinking, but it does, and that's probably part of the problem there, right? One little teeny spark flew up from here. I mean, it was so, so tiny. Landed in there, and you can just see... And then, uh, yeah, error. So, cleaned up and re-charcoaled, try to get the sparks down. This time I put a lid on it to protect while I'm doing it, and then stir, put the lid back on, back and forth. But anyway, uh, stump remover, potassium nitrate, uh, that along with table sugar, and a little bit of sodium bicarbonate. And you put all that together in the certain ratios, you can look on the web if you want to. Uh, and I don't, because you don't want to do this, because you want to burn your house down. And then, um... It makes a smoke bomb. So I've already done a few, and then, oh, I take that, uh, stick it in a little tray, and then attach a fuse of some sort. So I use a sparkler, and lay it in there, and it comes out like a goo. You put it in there, and it hardens up, and then you get a smoke bomb. So this is what i got to do, since Kim will not allow me to go to South Carolina and get the fireworks I really, really want. i got to make my own here, and um, by myself, I'm going to blow myself up. So now... While we're videoing this, let's, let's show you what the goo is. When you mix all these things together, it all looks like, uh, it looks like the, you know, you watch the old 80s films when they go, that's, that's, co co that's cocaine. It's legit. It's real. Yeah. They may use this because it looks just like that nonsense. I didn't taste it because potassium nitrate. Ooh. Can't be that great. Okay, let's see. No sparks? I'm telling you, man, this thing is a little scary. And there it is. It's a gooey, gooey look. It's like a, I don't know how to, like melted caramel or something as it gets to. Right now, it's almost in that state. But that sugar's melting, turned into a caramel. I did a really small batch this time um, to make sure that if I do lose it, it's a quick and done. Um, the ratios of what you mix uh, determine the rate of burn and all that. So, yeah, that's actually pretty good right there. Um, we can actually get that into our little pad, our little uh, aluminum foil <laughs> things here. Let's see. Y'all got a minute to watch this? Okay, check it out. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's get a couple little foil things here. Well, let's do this a little bit off camera, a, a little bit, and then maybe we'll bring some back and show you what it looks like when it burns. Let's see. Do, 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 gloves, gloves. We got them somewhere here. Football Saturday. Yeah, playoff games are today too, so that should be really fun. Let's see. Off it goes. Alright. Now that's away from the fire, we feel a lot more safe than we did just a few moments ago. Alright, so take a, some of this mess. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. Where'd our tray go? Here's our tray, right? A little bit of goo in here. Ugh. Okay, listen, I know you want to say what it looks like, and it does look like that, but it's trust me, it's not that. Uh, take my little fuse, I'll do a little bend on it. Maybe it'll stand up in there, huh? This is all kind of trial and error. And once that little fuse burns down, we have a smoke bomb. Because this will drive hard, it'll be hard as, hard as a rock, or awful hard. Let's just say that. Okay, now, I'll show you what I mean about this stuff lighting up. 
Put the lid on this thing before it blows up. Hold on. Oh, yeah, move this one way out of the way. So it don't blow up. Good golly. This is a teeny tiny little ball. Shouldn't be too bad. Pretty groovy, huh? All right, so yeah, with that big old mess, that should go nice and smoke the neighborhood up on New Year's Eve. And then we'll trust our friends that maybe. May or may not be out of state or traveling. Who knows? I don't know if anything else will show up here, but we'll have, we'll have something burning, right? All right. Sorry about the long video, guys, but um, it's a little touchy. This is a lot more scary than just, you know, cooking a Boston butt, you know? So, anyway. Happy New Year. Uh, it'll be coming up soon. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a good time here doing that with this and some chow and everything else. Family move coming in and um, friends and neighbors visiting, so... Thanks for joining us on the Grim Morgan YouTube channel. Hope your holidays are going well. Ours are going great here, of course. Okay. <laughs> We're making fireworks. They're definitely going.